Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. (laughs) But truly, we are recording. Yes. (laughs) Hello, everybody. What up? We're back. We're back. Sick of us yet? No. I don't even know what week we're on because... I'll tell you why. Because we said, hey, happy 19, happy 20. And then I switched everything around because it was your birthday episode. (gasps) Oh, yeah. So at the end of the one episode, I had to say, happy 19. Okay, cut that out (laughs) because your birthday was 19. (laughs) So I can't say happy 22 because I don't know if it's 22 or not. We're in 20 something (laughs) right now. And I really wanted to celebrate 20. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. We just didn't announce I mean, that we, we did. We will without anybody knowing. How about that? <laughs> technically, this is what. Well, technically, this 22. is twenty three. Three. Because yeah, there's a few more. We're always a few weeks um, okay. ahead of recording for me to edit and get it out there. So. So happy 23, 24, 25, 25 26, 26, maybe twenty one, or maybe twenty. This could be all of it. But luckily, we have someone here to celebrate Ooh. all of the twenties with us. Who do we have here with us? What's up, Kayla? Hi, Kayla. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> So we talk about her often. Yeah. She yes. gets offended when we don't talk about her on it's, episodes. It's, it's very rude. <laughs> <laughs> she was in the car with me when the dude was peeing. When I he was peeing out his pant out, leg. And I you know. didn't think that I was r- right. And I was very I thought he was right. having a heart attack. And you're he like, did I look think like he's like peeing. He was having a grabber. Well, yeah. He started grabbing. So. I know. I know. What was he grabbing, though? He was like grabbing his, his pant, leg. Leg. pant leg. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. He was pulling it away from his leg so he had a clear path to pee. I saw you in the city, I tell you. Totally sketch. So there's a small little park that I have to, I don't have to walk very far from the train station to my office. Yeah, which And is there's nice. a small little park and it has become a camp for homeless people. Oh, I was going to say, oh, yeah. And so, you know, bumps. every once in a while they walk, they watch you walk past, but you know, I'm usually with someone or in the morning, they're usually just kind of hanging out or yeah. chilling. Yeah. Well, I just found out that a woman was walking past there and got stabbed. Oh, that's Oh, great. how about somebody just got stabbed in one of the stores that I visit yeah. frequently? Oh, well, uh, what is going on yeah, here? I you don't know? know. People and are losing their shit. Was yours shit. a random? Because this one was a random. Yeah, I think it's the same person, actually, that you said that, and I know the location of each of those. Yeah. She's actually stabbed, like, four or five times. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she just, has she has been the stabber? Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. We went from grabber to stabber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's randomly stabbed. You can Google it. If you look at like the Chicago stabbing, I totally want to be Googled for a random yeah. stabber. <laughs> oh that would God. be fantastic. Don't mess no. with me. Oh my God. I Don't think mess with great, me, like, customers. I love it when Drew's like, you guys always see the craziest thing. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah. cause we watch. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, but everything. that's me. I just drive too. And then we you almost know? hit people. Yeah. Just like mm-hmm. on the ride home. And I was, <laughs> she's all waving at me and she almost rear ends the guy in front of her and goes, no. did you see that? Yeah, you guys what? saw each other on the way home today, right? <laughs> I don't rear end anybody You were smoking your cigarettes, throwing the butts <laughs> out. We'll talk about that when we get offline <laughs> oh, here. No. She saw you do that and she was like, oh yeah, that's totally Cass. <laughs> You're jamming your music, Uh-oh. right? And then you were honking your horn. Yeah, I honked it. Yeah, loud. I was like, who is this bitch aggressively honking at me? I turn around, <laughs> it's Kayla. Me. I was like, oh, hey, bitch, what I are you doing? I rolled my windows down. I'm like, I'm cloping right now. <laughs> She's like, no way. I was like, yep. So we always talk about this. How many times do, well, for me, for Starbucks, they always spell my name wrong unless I oh. do um, a mobile order. Yeah. But how often do people say your name wrong? No one. Well, if you know me, you say it right. Yeah. Right. Um, but reading it on your name tag. Never. But actually, weird. I went to a Starbucks the other day and I had my badge on and the lady goes, Oh, is this for Kayla? And I was like, Oh, oh my God. You I was knew like, how to are say you it. from a different planet? I was like, how <laughs> because it you? is like, it's not a normal Kayla it's spelling. Not. It's K A L L A Kala. Kala. And that's Kayla. what people say, right? The, do the, don't they usually ask you? Yeah. Okay. Cause you I know you always that? joke around when people say your name and you're like, it's Kala. It's Kala. Yeah. <laughs> um, in high school, it was hilarious because I didn't care. It was hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm hot today. I'm hot today. Yeah, just wait. Are. Just wait. Uh, I'm, just just, it, guys. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my wine. Right? Oh, I forgot I had it. Anyways, go ahead. Tell us a story while we drink. Yeah, can you can you shush? <laughs> just drink. Um, in high school, it was so common for nobody to know my name. I, even like teachers that I had for years, like oh Kala. I mean Kayla. Yeah. But like subs were the funniest thing because when they'd come in and do roll call, 
Like, I'm like, oh, here we go. You're going to get the whole team going. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Every classroom, if I had a sub. Yeah. They're like, Kala, and the whole classroom. Everybody it's start Kayla. laughing. Oh, geez. All, I'm like, whoa, guys, calm down. <laughs> They're like, like, it's my name. It's my name. If she wants to say it wrong, I'll let her I, know. I was, I didn't care. I was yeah. like, I'll be Kala. Like, hey, yeah. And then like, at least when she complains about me, they I'll won't be know who the hell she's talking exactly. about. Exactly. Who's Kala? Yeah. And I'm like, this is great. It's an. MO. I'm pretty sure like, Kayla got yeah. the A. Kala was the one that <laughs> failed. <laughs> I know. My teachers always called me Cassandra in the yeah. beginning of the year, and I always said, no, it's Cassie. And then when I got my last job, the lady asked me, do you go by Cassandra? And I said, no, Cassie. And she made my name tag and it said Cassandra. So I'm like, I guess I'm fucking <laughs> Cassandra for the first and time. And I guess this place doesn't listen. Yeah, you know, I was like, I don't know, probably 24 when I started yeah. working there. First time in my 24 years of my life that people called me Cassandra. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I would be honest, like when you first started working with us, I was like, it's Cass. And then like everyone's like, oh, so is it? Cassandra or yeah. whatever and then you'd say like they're like I know how do they normally pronounce it not like Cassandra Cassandra Cassandra, Cassandra. and I'm like that's, that's wrong. how I say it I I'm know like, it's wrong that's wrong it's it doesn't matter it's tomato tomato yeah she my answers sister, to it right my sister always said we weren't that fancy so it wasn't Cassandra it was Cassandra Cassandra <laughs> you know so. all right true with his yeah. drawl <laughs> I don't think I knew how you said your name until we recorded our first, the, the intro. It. And then you were like, and I'm Cassandra. And I'm like, and I'm is that Cassandra. your freaking name for real? <laughs> you always just called me Cass. Brianna thought it was really funny when we did that bonus episode. Oh when, my and she God. goes, how many, how many different ways is Cass going to say oh her name? Oh, my God. Yeah, she There's, was a <laughs> There's a million. You call me Cassie. Old people call me Cassie. Yeah. No, people can't say my name. So yeah. they're like, Murdoch. 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 You're Murdoch. Mm-hmm. I always Mayor. call you Mayor. Yeah. And good friends call me Mayor. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know me well enough, don't call me Mare, but you guys call me Mare. Mare Bear. So. Yeah. Mare Bear. Call me yes. Mare. My baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I have a quick story about don't be that customer because... You should always be that customer. I, I was that customer. <laughs> Uh-oh. I went to my local store on Sunday morning, and I did just a little bit of a shop, and I wanted to get, like, potatoes and onions and just stuff for dinners. You yeah. know, to, you cut them up, you, you know, yeah. fry them, whatever. It makes it easy. Potatoes and salt. So I, yeah, exactly. So I had the, a bag, it was like a three pound bag of potatoes. And so I'm at the register and the bagger says, do you want these in a bag? And I said, Ooh, (laughs) and I gave him a whole life story about why I needed them in the bag. (laughs) I, I was like, it. oh, my gosh, there's the nobody home. home. So, yeah, I probably need that in a bag because I'm going to need handles because there's nobody home. And I'm going to need to have handles because I don't like to make too many trips from the car to the house to the kitchen. And I went on and I caught myself like, and, you fucking idiot. And scene. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here like, really? <laughs> and the whole time he was staring at me holding the, the three-pound bag of potatoes like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. D- He's d- like, did so, you say handles or no? <laughs> so do you want a bag or not? <laughs> At, the, at that point, he was probably like, "Is she? Is this a sarcastic?" Story? It was abs- I was totally that customer that just told everybody my life story. See, I never put potatoes in a bag no. unless they. And then my daughter, who it. listens to all the crime junkies, probably would have yelled at me and said, "Why are you telling everybody you're home alone?" <laughs> Whoever's in the next lane you, checking out, yep, she's shaking her head. We got a live audience follow today. You home, follow yeah. you home. She's gonna, they're gonna follow me home, and they're, they don't said, care I'm if behind. I have handles. So your one last podcast was safety. I just don't understand it. People need to be yeah. safe. <laughs> then here's Mayor. Hey, they just, just so you know, I'm home alone. If they like followed you home, they just wanted to help you carry in the potatoes. Absolutely, because I can't even remember if the kid put it in a bag or not after Stop all that. It. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just threw it on top of my bread. <laughs> oh my god! It's like that one looks soft. Yeah. I'll just throw them right there. I purposely try to put my bread last on the belt. Yeah. yeah. Or if I'm checking out, I check. You know, yeah. I, I scan it last. Yeah. Because I am notorious for squishing bread. Right. right. It's like who wants flat bread? Well, today? okay. So this was something I don't think we talked about this because this was a deep conversation I had with one of my friends. She said, "You know, we got." At our old job, we had the carousel, right? That's Mm -hmm. what they called it. It's got like eight different bags on it. She's like, you know, I throw all my stuff up on the belt, and they're putting like one thing in the bag and spinning it. And I'm like, so did you leave it in the bag? And she's like, well, no. They, you know, they spin it towards me, and so I grab it. And I was like, did you put like all your yogurts and cold stuff together and this and that? And she was like, well, no. And I'm like, how do you fucking expect them are, is she going to reach all the way down the belt for yeah. the next cold thing? You know, like, you got to put like shit together. And she was like, 
Oh, I never oh, thought of that's that. That's like my you biggest know? thing. Like going shopping, I'm that person. Yeah. When you're in retail, like you, my cart you is think very of that kind organized. of stuff. It's weird. It's weird. Like I, my kids are like, "This is why," yeah. and I'm like, "Because it's normal and it's easy." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I get up to the thing and I put everything up there. And then right. Like, and then, like the biggest thing is like when I go to like my local grocery store. They usually have baggers, but sometimes they don't. Yeah. And then I'm there doing it. Yeah. And this lady, they're, they're always like, you're really fast. Yeah. I usually like, bag because my own I planned it. Too. I've yeah. planned it. And I've been in retail for like a long time. Mm-hmm. You're like, <laughs> no, you're really fast at scanning because yeah. I put all the shit together on yeah. the belt. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. Yeah, so you always have to do your Don't be that customer stuff. that tells her life story. And yeah. then don't be the customer that just randomly throws Throw shit up stuff on the belt. It. You got yogurt, you know, yeah. in the first spot and then it's in the hundredth yeah. spot. And yeah, yeah, don't do that. Put all your, put all your shit cold together. together. Put all yeah. your frozen uh, together. Put your bread last. people even mess up their carts like that because the aisles are just meant to be well, shopped but, appropriately. Mm. Okay. But listen, we've worked retail. So we know we walk into the store, we go straight to the back to the paper products, right? Mm-hmm. We load that big shit on the bottom. Mm-hmm. We get our bottles of water, blah, blah, blah. Then we start going through the aisles. Most people walk in that haven't worked retail and don't understand the whole Tetris of the cart. Mm-hmm. Keep your shit organized. They go right to produce because yeah. it's the first thing. Oh, and I'm then they go to it. meat. And then they're there for an hour and they're like, my ice cream is melting. And I'm like, yeah, because you fucking went to ice cream first, first. before you went. And it should and got always be last. Else. Yeah. Yep. Always be last. Idiots. Ice cream and bread <laughs> should always be last. I, I, I've i never been one to add cold to my cart beef. I, I know I'm going to be yeah. there in a minute because I'm, yeah. I'm like, ooh, social. And yeah. everyone knows me and everyone wants to talk yeah. to me. And yeah, you definitely don't want to do frozen no. first. No. And I've never done that because yeah. I can't stand like. Pizza's defying. And yeah. my ice cream carton getting wonky and yeah. moist. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry for anybody that doesn't yeah. like that word. Moist. Gross. Sick. Sick. <laughs> Sick. So let's talk about service dogs. I think this is a good oh conversation to have because we have someone that absolutely loves yeah. pets in our house. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. how do you feel about... I'm going to put quote unquote service dogs. And I know there's some well, out there. Well, there's emotional support There's dogs, emotional support. And there's, there's real service dogs. Right. Okay. All right. So what's the difference? Okay. So. <laughs> I knew she'd know. <laughs> emotional is for a lot of different reasons. Anxiety some attacks. Anxiety, or, okay. PTSD. Some people have triggers to different lights, different sounds, Different people. Yeah. And just having that dog there to is a total them? comfort. They are also trained in alert. A lot of them oh, are. Okay. So they can sense the anxiety. They can sense the fear. They can, and they'll, they'll either alert, they'll circle, they'll lay, they'll paw. Let's leave. Yeah. yeah. Get them out of that situation. Cause a lot of people with P or any of those, with those dogs need, don't know that they're going into these attacks. They don't know that, that they're they having this anxiety that they're, yeah. until it's already too late. They're hyperventilating. Right. They're right. going into an attack. Service dogs are also for a majority of things, mainly medical, which is awesome. And I, I just like people that have those animals and don't vest them correctly because then they get angry and then they get triggered and then medical happens. Like the best thing is, was when they have their vests on, put the alert on, do not distract, do not yeah. touch, do not. And that's like the hardest thing. Like when I worked at my old job, I was head service like I was on over all of the medical that happened in the store and we did have a medical alert happen she did collapse and the dog was there and a lot of the times they are trained to let the first person that come, they see yeah come yeah it's not they won't allow multiple people because yeah. they're protecting their owner correct right. so it's all these people that are petting the dog distracting the dog and then the owner goes down that they're trying to right are you going to take care of him now? Well, why would a service yeah. dog be allowed to be pet in the first place? Why do people do that? People don't get it. They like, don't... I'm one of those people that I'm, like, walking past and I'm side eye on the dog and I'm like, oh, my God, that's such a good dog. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, like I, 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 would the opposite. Never, I would never even be like, oh, my God, can I pet your dog? Because I understand with that the bright the dog vest is on yeah. that yeah. says "Do not pet yeah. me." Yeah. Now I'm just the opposite. I feel like those dogs look very sad. I know you said cute. Yeah. But I feel like they're sitting there like. They're very mellow well, in nature, they're and, they're but they are focused. focused. Yeah. And yeah. it's, a lot of people will be like, well, do, they want pets. Look at how sad they look. You don't they're, realize they're how in tune that dog has to be right. with your body in, in a place like that right. to be able to alert Because, medically. like, you know, I know there's dogs out there that um, they can smell your blood yeah. sugar dropping. Mm-hmm. And if there's people around 
that they get, have blood sugar dropping, they're going to be like, oh my God, what the hell? Yeah. There have been multiple times that we've had people in with service dogs that have alerted other people. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a crazy, awesome experience crazy. to see. Yeah. And they're so smart. I know. And they, like my dog, my little Yorkie, four pound Yorkie, not trained in anything. But like if I have a hypoglycemia attack, I know it, like she can sense it because yeah. like when I'm feeling it, she starts licking and she's, she's yeah. pawing and she's scraping and I'm yeah. like, she knows you're not acting yet. normal. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And dogs just sense it. They don't, a lot of them don't have to be trained for right. it. They're just so in tune with their owners that have you seen the dogs on TikTok that use the buttons to talk, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. What about bunny? I'll call that one. I out. love bunny. Dude, this dog like literally is like, I'm human. And the mom has to be like, no, I'm human. You're animal. And he's like, why? Yeah. You know, like like, he can talk with the buttons with, with the, the words. Yes. Yeah, he touches the buttons. And, and there's been that, so know. many scenarios where you know it's not just BS because oh yeah, he's like the last time he was alerting to the neighbors and he was angry and she's yeah. like, buttons has to stay inside because yeah. you're angry and he was like, happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she goes, no, if I let you outside, you're gonna be angry and yeah. then we're gonna have to come back in. He said, happy. Yeah. <laughs> and so she's like, I'm telling you now, if we go outside and you're not happy, you're coming back inside. You're barking. Yeah. And she's like. He's totally going to be angry. And he walks outside and he's all happy. And yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And she, that lady that has Bunny is like working with like colleges and professors oh, and so schools cool. and scientists and all the like, people with the cats that have it too. I think it's so animals funny. Animals are so beyond cats. us, aren't oh, they? There's a cat. Yeah, I know. There. And we think animals are dumb. We're They're the not. dumb ones. We're the big dumb humans. That, I think that's why I hate all the stories of those that get hurt. Like, you yeah. know, have abusive owners and oh. stuff because you just know their, their they feeling. Know. They have all yeah. the feelings. Yeah. yeah. But that does mm-hmm. make me sad. Yeah. There's cats okay. on there with <laughs> buttons. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat, the one cat that's like TikTok famous, he's just a swear galore. Like they have all these swear buttons. <laughs> really? And they're like, they're like, they, they said that we shouldn't allow your potty mouth. And he's like, fuck off. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I want some buttons. <laughs> they say it doesn't take long to train no. them either to use Mm-mm. them. Yeah. Start with like outside, you know? Yeah. Dogs know when they want to go outside. They walk up, <laughs> hit the button, go outside, you know? Okay, so now can we talk about the people that don't have service dogs, but they still bring them in? They just I bring understand them in. You can go if Google you're on and vacation and it's 120 degrees out, fine. You don't want to put them yeah. in the, but mm, See, if you're going to do grocery shopping. That's like a hard thing for me because we did have to rescue a dog from a car. And mm-hmm. technically the place that I used to work for didn't, that was like illegal. Like you Yeah, you it. couldn't do it. And I did it anyway. Yeah. I didn't care. It was like 102 degrees. It was a lab and it was not okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got it out and it was like 32 minutes after we got it out, paging the owner with the license plate in the store. Still never came out. People don't care. They don't. And well, they may have, they may, maybe they didn't come out because they saw you guys were on the car. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, eventually you got to get to your car. They're going to wait. Yeah. I'd be busting windows. Yeah. So, like, oh, yeah. That's my thing. Like if it's like beginning of summer or spring and yeah. it's 53 degrees outside. Okay. Right. Your car is going to be like 65, right. 70 by the time you get back It'll in it. Fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the sun. People don't realize yeah. how much the sun affects you. Like there's times where I'm like, oh, I'm good. It's only 72 degrees out and I'm sitting in my car and I'm like, Dying. dying yeah. Have you ever had to call? I know we have a lot of friends okay, that have had so to call customers actually, and say, get this dog out of really the car. I have a really crazy story about this. Yeah. Okay. So we had this team of people that would come and do resets, right? And this team, it was a husband and a wife, and they were from Tennessee, right? So their dog was used to heat. Well, they had, they were staying in a hotel, and they can't leave the dog in the hotel during the day while they're at work. So they... um left the dog in the car, but they left the car running the whole time. The back windows were like super tinted and the front windows were kind of tinted because you can get away with more in Tennessee, I think, than you can in Illinois. So they had the car on, they had the air blasting, like every like, you know, 45 minutes or whatever hour, they'd go out there, they'd check on the dog, take it for walks, give it water, give it snacks. You know, we'd be like, oh, let us see your dog, you know. It was fine in the car. Okay. Because like literally they have the air blasting and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this lady comes up. She's like, I don't know whose dog that is in the car, but it's hot outside, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ma'am, actually, we were just out there. We just walked the dog. We gave the dog some water. Like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. The car's running. The air's on. It's like 68 degrees inside the car. You know, I swear to God, the dog is fine. You know, the dog's from Tennessee. It's used to a little bit of heat. 
She was a corporate lady. Oh, oh oops. <laughs> and we had the store director in training at the store at the time because this is when I was at the gas station. So he comes over and he's like, do you understand that was a corporate person? And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't give a shit. You know, I'm like, you're the one that looks bad. Like I You're just the told, one in I just training. You know? told like, her what we care. were doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, the dog is fine. Right. And so this guy was like, because he's like telling him, you can't leave your, your dog in the car, blah, blah, blah. He's like, the dog's fine. Do you want to go out and see the dog? This and that, blah, blah, blah. He's like, no, I'm not accepting that. You cannot. And he goes, fine, I'll just leave all the shit laying right here and I'll leave, you know? And I was like, please don't do that, you know? Like, <laughs> then I'm going to have to figure out how to put all this shit together, you know? Like, they were doing, like, a major reset, like, right. building shelves and, you know, screwing them to the wall oh, and gosh, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, no, I couldn't do that, you know? So I, I think the wife went and, like, took, you know, went and sat in the car with the dog yeah. until the guy finished. So there was one year at the job that we worked at um, that it seemed like everyone brought in their dogs. Yeah. I felt like I was constantly telling owners, you cannot yeah. bring the dog in here. Yeah. And it wasn't a hot day. Yeah. They were just bringing the dogs yeah. in there. It was a trend for a while. It was a trend yeah. for a while. Yeah. I think Paris Hilton did it once, right? Yeah, she had the dog right. carrier. <laughs> so everyone wanted to be Paris. And I wish they would have just went to Paris because <laughs> it was such a pain. And it never failed that the store director would ask me to go tell them. You know, well, you're the manager of bakery and yeah. you don't want dog hair in your cake. Yeah. So why don't you tell them? I'm like, seriously? I really, and they fought me every time. I, I feel like it's really not a big deal to bring your dog into the store as long as it's well behaved. And it's not climbing on anything. Like, I didn't like people would put their dogs in the carts because people put. That's where most of them without were. Without plastic yeah. on it. You know, mm -hmm. if you had a black lab and it was perfectly fine and it didn't fuck with anybody and it didn't cause trouble. I could care less mm -hmm. because there's worse things than dogs that go through that store. Oh yeah. Like there's dirty kids, oh, yeah. and <laughs> dirty kids and dirty kids touching everything. Said, I wish there was more dogs and less kids allowed in places. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Kids absolutely. Are dogs are cute at least, you know? Yeah. But how about the one that's standing in my bakery petting her dog? Oh. Or I mean that, yeah. Mm, no. I don't See, know my about thing that. Is, is like, if you're going to bring your dog in, respect that side of the store. Right. Because yeah. There's no, unless yeah. your dog is in a carrier where it's hair is contained. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. see the point. Right. Julie and I were at a store couple months ago maybe and this woman was taking a photo op a photo op of her dog what is so it you were telling me i about went that. into the store to get pillows she was in that fucking aisle <laughs> doing a photo op <laughs> with her fucking dog I oh was like, God. what is happening here? And so why I, like, is that you know being how you allowed? politely like, you know how you push your cart? Like, I'm going to go down the aisle now. Yeah. She looked and she smiled and smiled at me and then like, didn't let me go down the aisle. Oh my God. And then I was like, oh, okay. So then I thought she didn't speak English. Yeah. So I was like, excuse me. And she was like, mm -hmm. she gave me this like weird smile. And then she just kept taking pictures of her what dog. The frick? And I'm like, something's going on. She must've been a blogger or whatever. And she was just taking that you know, time to do this. And I literally had to like lean over and grab the pillow. Oh my God. Put it in my cart. And I was like, okay, thanks. And, and, and turned like around. so allergic. Do you know that I heard her speak in English to her friend oh that was in the God. other aisle? <laughs> I was like, really? And she was there for a long time. Like there were people that she was like, she was telling them, shooing nope, them away. Nope, shooing them away. She needed to take pictures of her dog. See, I'm like, no, this if I was is the where... manager of that store, I'd be like, get the fuck out and of I here. And I wasn't going to be like, where's the manager? I was just like, whatever. I got Pull my pillows Karen. and I left. Pull that Karen yeah, card. <laughs> I know. I didn't. But I couldn't believe it. Some of the things that we used to see, like we had a mini pony that would always come in. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, How yeah. do you bring a mini pony into oh, the they seat? Brought, they brought him do in. Do you want mini ponies or do you want kids? See, you can't. You, no. There's, there's, a, there's not a line, right? She it's goes, animals. No. I don't know. They both shit on the floor. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's insane. Fucking kids, too. Yeah. Man. Mini, oh, no, I don't even know about that. A mini pony? I don't know. Is it cool? Can I feed it carrots? Yeah. yeah. Then I'll take the mini pony okay. over Is it kids. a service <laughs> pony or can I pet it? It was a service pony. Shut up. I swear on everything. Wasn't there a woman that tried to take a peacock on a plane? Stop it. It was a service peacock. I heard Stop about that it. too. What the you hell know? is a peacock going to do for you besides <laughs> peck your eyes out when you pass out on the ground? Oh man. <laughs> a fucking peacock. Those are like some of the meanest things ever. They're like geese. They're mean as <laughs> shit. If they're hand raised, they could be quite sweet. <laughs> Haven't you seen the lady with Karen, the, the emu thing? Yeah. And she just like stops him with a yeah. hand and everyone's like, how She's do like, you do that? Not today, not Karen. Today, Karen. <laughs> she hand raised her peacocks and they just sit out on her front porch and wait for her every morning. I'm like, um, And they shit all over her porch. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm yeah. like, what am I doing wrong in this world? <laughs> like, 
Why can't I just have a farm and right? make TikToks all day? <laughs> so let me tell you guys this story because growing up, nobody ever believed me. And then it happened again at our house. <laughs> when I was younger, I had a hairless rat that my parents, nobody oh, knew about God. this thing. What? I bought him at the store and I smuggled him in. He was my best friend. <laughs> The Sick. best rat. I had this thing for two years. Nobody and nobody knew. knew. Nobody, nobody knew. ever went in your room. No, my I I was grown by that time. Oh, I, I, I could wipe my own ass. You know, <laughs> they didn't. Have to. She was yeah, like, she's fine. She's yeah. still breathing. <laughs> I did my own laundry. Put it all away. Well, one night, my, well, my parents installed these windows in our house, and the screens literally just like flicked over. I was oh, like, God. okay, cool. You just want me to sneak out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I got you. Like, yeah. So one night I put him in his cage and I was like, mommy, be back soon. I love you so much, baby. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Snuck out the window, went and did my girl thing, snuck back in. And the rat's gone. No. It was cold that night. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and he froze to death. <laughs> he didn't have no fur on him. I When I tell you, I screamed like I would have found one of my own children not oh breathing. Gosh. Oh, my I God. I screamed. My whole family comes in thinking I'm dying. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shiitake. Oh, hey First of all, I, I have, have a hairless rat. rat. Second, Second of all, all he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> and like, it's I, freezing. I and I look at dad and I'm like, daddy, you need to bury him. He's like, the ground is frozen. Oh my God. Like him. And I'm like, that was so cold. God. Did you put a vest on it and make it a service rat? Oh my for the God. I wanted to. I wanted to. <laughs> Let's go see all your friends he at would the not stores. Go down so to the city. Sweet. You haven't found none have crawled up no. to you in the city yet. I've not even seen one in the city. I'm Ew. pretty upset about it. Oh, I've seen them. You have to go early in the morning, like at three or four in the morning when you yeah. have real early okay. resets uh, they're yeah. everywhere no everywhere. and i there's been times where i'm driving to a store at maybe four o'clock in the morning thinking that i'm about to ready to hit a dog yeah. in the middle and it's a rat it's Ew. a rat yeah, yeah they're pretty they're big big because mm-hmm. i haven't seen everything drew they're sick yeah they're yeah. sick so tell us about your retail history i want to hear all about it oh lord so, it's, tell us your resume that, where you been what you do no, nobody wants to hire this <laughs> um well, I hired it. <laughs> I started my first time ever job was Dollar Video in LA Tan. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to go there. Yeah, that was my first ever job. And it was awesome. Free tanning. And then we would all like try to kill ourselves and go tan under each other's names because you can only tan oh one my time. God, mm-hmm. yeah. So we tan in the morning and then we'd be like call the other people and like, are you coming in today? No. I'm like, I'm gonna tan under your name. They're oh like, my okay. God. Like we'd tan like three times a day. Totally not healthy. Mm-hmm. I still don't have skin cancer and I don't know how. That's terrible. Um that was like the best. That didn't last job. very long though, right? No, uh, I was there for I was gonna say it had to be there for like five years. Oh okay. At least, okay. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, me and my sister worked there together. Okay, and then I had some friends. That I wonder if there I too. like ever met you guys and didn't know because I used to go there all the time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't rent movies. I think I tan. Well, maybe I did both. We Probably used to both. rent movies from there all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one of my friends worked there, and they sold porn. Right? Yeah, they had the little porn room. I used to have to order it. Right. Good so. Time. My friend worked there, and her boyfriend would always go in and then rent porn, and she'd be like, you have to stop getting fucking porn. Everybody thinks I'm watching porn all the time. <laughs> Who was she? Because it would be under oh, her name. Yeah. It would be under her name? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. So that was always, like, the best, like, when I would have to order it. Who rents porn anymore? Nobody. We got the internet. <laughs> Probably. You can just Google it. <laughs> you can just Google it. I would like to watch porn tonight. Google's like, no problem. Here you go. The best thing about it all was the way that the men would request their preferences. Ew. And then I'm like, hi. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is illegal because at the time oh I was like God. 17 years of age. And I'm like, and this grown man is asking me for a preference in porn. I'm like, I think this is illegal. I don't. I, I, You're I, like, I, I can I, ask, I, but I'm I, not oh promising anything. <laughs> it was insane. Like weird they were like they were probably getting a kick out of it last name your address because i'm turning this shit over to the fbi (laughs) literally literally. (laughs) it's insane it was it was weird and the the head you to our database here real quick (laughs) the funniest thing about it is that my manager at the time had installed like those you know those bead dangler like yeah door things doorways yeah so he's i was like why would you do that he's like so i know when people are in there i'm like we have cameras oh god yeah but at least it makes the noise though i can see that you have to Imagine the way he had it set up. The family section was directly across oh from the God. door. Well, yeah, because yeah. the kids will pick out theirs and dad has to go into the oh, bead room. Sick. So I'm like, so all the kids are standing <laughs> there, like picking out their movie. And then they hear the beads dangling against and the like, door. And they're like, there? what's in there? I'm what's like, in there? We want to go through the bead room. This is so <laughs> not safe. 
<laughs> Can't you just put like a swinging door on I, it that I, says like nobody under 18? That's how it. the one right here, it, it had saloon doors. So you could hear it like, oh, thump, thump, thump. It was, <laughs> yeah. The and there's no I'd getting reading, away with it that you're I'd be reading movies and I'd be like, oh, someone's in the porn <laughs> yeah. room. Oh, I love them walking out like all guilty. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so. They're it's trying like, to hide the titles. With the brown cases because <laughs> yep. they wouldn't have the titles on it. <laughs> The worst was like the tanning beds, like when older Ew. women would come in and get stuck in there or stuck. whatever. Oh, because they couldn't to... lift it back up. Yeah. Or, mm. and then you have to go in and rescue them. And you're just like, I, I've got to stare there. Oh I mean, I have God. to lift there. Yeah. Like it was, that was intense. You're like, just make eye contact yeah. while you're lifting it. Like I'm not looking at your boobs or <laughs> vagina. I promise. <laughs> I'm just going to back out and not break eye contact. Literally. <laughs> That was that was an interesting. I worked God, at a tanning salon so years and years ago, and the the top of it unhinged and what? fell on a guy. And so I heard him like struggling. I heard like the boom, and then I heard the struggle. And <laughs> not even thinking, I just like opened the door, and he's butt naked standing oh there. He's like, God. "This just fell on me," and I, all I could do was look at him. Oh my! I'm like, God. "Oh, I'm sorry to hear that." As I was looking <laughs> at his naked body, <laughs> you're like, "Well." No tan lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Are you hurt? <laughs> Let you me look at you. Yeah. Let me look at you and make sure you're not bleeding anywhere. <laughs> but that was actually kind of freaky. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because we've all seen that. What is that? The What's the movie? Uh, final oh, final destination. destination. Yeah, that yeah. was almost his. Yeah. But thank goodness I busted through the door. <laughs> yeah, you know, he really saved who, I mean, he could have had his penis stuck. Oh, yeah. my you know God. what I'm saying? I think you, he would have been more than just like, Ugh, you know? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He'd have been like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking dick is stuck in this thing. <laughs> Some of my are like absolute best customers were guys, like the tanning. Mm -hmm. was like all guys and I still to this day they see me out they're like Kayla and I was like this is so weird that we maintained a friendship over years over you tanning your butt are like, they yeah. still super tan oh yeah oh god oh yeah yeah weird. I love it I go get spray tan the all only the time. thing that's tan is my driving arm yeah I there were a set of twins that would come tanning and they were strippers and they would always show me their performances for the oh weekend. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. It was two women. They were okay. twins. And they would come in and tan. They'd make sure everyone, they made like, sure that, that they were the, the same game. time. They always had so many fives and singles that oh they would pay me God. in cash. And then if we had like a sale, like a six month sale, they would just pay, pay up front. Pay, yeah. pay up front. Yeah. And one of the twins. Okay. So first let me go back. So they would show me their routines. Cause they had like a mirror routine. Oh my that, God. Cause they were looking at each other and they said it was a crowd pleaser because no one knew there were two of them. <laughs> I remember that. And then one of them had a boyfriend that was married with children, but he was like her sugar daddy. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. And he would wait in the parking lot. He would know when she was going tanning. So then I would see her walk out there. They would talk. He'd hand her a stack of cash, oh whatever she God. did the night before for it. Like it was, it was like awesome. That it was crazy. like sugar babies are totally in right now. I'm thinking about finding one. I was just like, <laughs> can someone send me some, some, Dude, feet picture TikTok? money. Stop it. <laughs> TikTok is opening up a whole world oh, of God. All things no. you didn't no. know. No. Only fans, these girls are talking about making millions. I'm like, and they haven't even gotten naked. I was that, like, you know what? That just means people are gross. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Gross. See, because they've watched all the porn there is to watch. <laughs> yeah. So it's internet. now this is the next level. This is, yeah. Did you guys see the family guy where Quagmire yeah. found porn on the internet? <laughs> That's the best episode ever. <laughs> he comes out, his one arm is all big. big. <laughs> Dirty. Sick. So when I was waitressing, we had this chick that would always come in like right at 5 a.m. when we would open and she would just pay in all singles. Oh, like, man. Every once in a while, she'd have a five or a ten, you know? <laughs> just every and I'm like, this chick is a total stripper, you know? Yeah. So didn't fail me and a couple of our friends go up to the strip club one night right we were all drunk and whatever and we go up to the strip club there she is and I was like oh, I know you you come into the restaurant and she's just like what the fuck like I didn't know the stripper code like you're not supposed to say anything you're just supposed when to you know that you're not supposed her. to act yeah. like they have an outside life I know. it's yeah. all fantasy when you go through yeah. the doors yeah it's terrible but she always tips you know really we should good. get a stripper on here is your sister Stop. available next week? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, well, what? shit, I don't think I know. Yeah, I She's know in insurance. 
<laughs> she's an accountant. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I know any strippers. Right. I mean, but I would like to hear about that. That's retail. You're that, selling, yeah. but you're not yeah. selling goods. You're selling the goods. Calling <laughs> all strippers. We need you here. We have some questions. So, yeah. Cass, did you only go to an all-female club or male and female? Or just male? Do you even remember? It was all-female. Yeah. That one mm-hmm. was all female. I've been to all female. I've been to male and female. I know you. So did you totally I've own never, the floor? No. I so went into all one. females I are obviously one. way more popular, right? Because yeah. I feel like they're a bunch go. of lesbian men haters. Like when lesbian you, like, men. okay, so I would go in with a couple dude friends and maybe like another girlfriend and like the dudes around would get mad because oh, yeah. when you walk into an all female club as a female, they're like all over yeah, you. Yeah, they and swarm it's like, the females, yeah. which is weird because that's they're told not to go near the females. Yeah, so they'll do it like when you first arrive as like an attention yeah. seeker to get the men's attention. Yeah, mm. and then they won't come by you the rest of the night. Yeah, but I went to this one and I oh I was like I owned the whole floor. Yeah, they were no. all over me, and then I degraded a stripper. I didn't even know what you could do that, but I totally did it and felt <laughs> terrible. Oh like, god, oh, god! I was like, no. Yeah, I know, like. Because I was pretty young at the time. I was probably maybe 20 years old. I must have, well, I must have been 21 because we were drinking. (laughs) So I was 21, we'll say. And this, me and my two friends sat down like right at the stripper pole, you know, you got the, like the seats right around it. Yeah. And I looked to my left and like, what's up dudes, you know? And then I looked to my right and this guy just made eye contact with me. Like I was the same age as his daughter, but I'm thinking, so are these bitches up on the stage you know but that's fantasy up up on the stage right yeah he got up and left he was like nope and i was like well whatever i'll throw you some money here you go yeah that's like a a lot of people don't realize that a lot of strip clubs have problems with that like with their shot girls yeah because they hire on shot girls at 18 yeah Yeah. right if you just trade it up and you're like whatever it's fine then you can yeah yeah. and a lot of men will leave because he's uh, this like the one that i went to she walked up to me i was like baby how old are you yeah Yeah. she's like 18 and i was like mom mode i was like oh my god protect yeah. yeah like yeah. yeah what do you do and you you will you'll see it like a lot of the men will just completely ignore it because it's it's ruining the whole yeah. thing for them because they're like this is weird i wish yeah. we had a, a man on the show a male today so to talk so they can explain all this yeah i feel like we need that side of it yeah because here we're just women today talking about it but yeah mm. but, i don't know all right yeah. after all that and not much retail let's take a break Woo! 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 Yeah, I want to play a game. We have 20 minutes left and we haven't talked about poop yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Done. Just did. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> okay, we're going to play a game. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not a poop game. So this is called This or That. Okay. And so I'm very curious about what you guys are going to say. Oh, gosh. Okay. So it's I'm going to give you two options. Okay. And then you're going to tell me which option you would choose and why. This will it's definitely very simple. fill up our 20 minutes. This is going to fill up our 20 <laughs> minutes. And everyone else that's listening right now is going to play because oh, they're going to want, they're oh, going to yeah. have their yeah. own. So we'll have to add it okay. to, you know, Facebook okay. and then they okay. can let us know. So first of all, cats or dogs? Dogs. 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 Julia? Dogs. All right. Dogs. We're all dogs. <laughs> why? People. Because dogs are way cooler than cats. Cats are have assholes. Have you ever owned a cat? I have <laughs> never owned a cat. Disgusting. I've never hung around a cat. We never had one. We only had dogs, so that's why I choose and dogs. And I don't like to clean up cat they shit. They are litter disgusting. Box. Yeah. Yeah, are they? Oh. Yeah. Disgusting. So all the cat lovers right now are like, you guys Sorry, don't yes. even know. Sorry. Yeah. Their hair, like anything they lay on, their hair is just Unless it's a hairless everywhere. cat. Like your sister's. Gus is a dick. <laughs> I love I love my nephew, my hairless four legged nephew. Kevin's sister has a hairless, but cat his too. boogers will coat Ew, everything. The, walls. the poor little man, he's disgusting. <laughs> and when he shits, he's in there like digging this barrel of a hole. Oh my god! And then doesn't even go in the hole. <laughs> so the whole time he's he thinking, shits he's, outside. Of yeah, it. and then he doesn't even bury it. So the smell is like atrocious <laughs> for like eight minutes. And I'm like, what? did you eat <laughs> okay dogs it is dogs. Yes. all right hamburgers or hot dogs hamburgers we got one hamburger i like hot dogs that's a tough one chicago style it's a tough one dog. for me because oh, i'm a brat everything. fan i'm actually a Same. brat fan yeah i even like the beyond brats 
Yeah. So that's a tough those. one for me. I think yeah. I would probably have to go with hamburgers. I yeah. think hamburgers just because I love blue cheese. Ew. Ew. Oh, yeah. You're sick. Who invited her? Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> nom nom. Sick. <laughs> All right. Sweet and sour or spicy? Spicy. Sweet and sour. I think I might have to go with spicy. Sweet and sour, Julia says. Yeah. So we got two and two? Yeah. No, what did you say? I yeah. said spicy. Yeah, yeah me too. Said spicy, we I don't said want like sour. super spicy. I don't like it when it's so spicy that all right. you can taste is the spice right. and right. all your nose is running, your I, eyes are yeah. watering. I like spicy, but I like sweet and sour more. Like what's the one, St. Elmo's horseradish? Oh, or God. What is the... That, yes. Remember, we, everyone was, was like sneezing sauce. upstairs yeah. and... I mean, it's sauce. really good, but it's really one hot. One literally cleared your sinuses. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. St. Elmo's has yeah. a yeah. cocktail yeah. sauce. Yeah. It is so it's, hot. And it says it's hot. It, it there's horseradish in there. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't think. You know, uh, anyone like, that's tried it yeah. goes like. <laughs> I put like, a shit ton in my, like I make my own cocktail <laughs> yeah. sauce and I put a shit ton in there and I didn't have that. And so I was like, I'll just buy it. This one's very spicy. Fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is fucking hot. I tried adding ketchup to it. Like. And it, it was still. It didn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking for a very spicy cocktail sauce, St. Elmo's. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a little good. jar, though, right? Not the no, horse. It's a talk- bottle. It's a bottle. Oh, the horseradish. The creamy horseradish? No, no, it's, a, it's cocktail. cocktail oh, the red cocktail. Yeah. With horseradish ref- in it. At least. In there I believe. It's only refrigerated. You will not find it on shelf. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. We yes. learned that. Okay. Watch sports or play them? Play them. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Probably watch them. I would play them. Play them. So we got three. Three I'm to one. I'm the only one that likes to watch them yeah. and drink beers. You know, I, I like both, but I like to be involved. Like uh, if, yeah. I'm, if I see a game happening outside at a park, like I'm usually very, like, yeah. Very like, oh, I don't know how to do that. And, and then, then you I totally become, like, know the how to do it. I'm like, I'm just going to wreck your whole life. Like, So I'll she is Rose <laughs> from <laughs> Golden Girls because Rose is very competitive. Oh. So it's Kala Rose over Kala here. Rose. <laughs> That's this is what this Rose. is, huh? <laughs> it's a Golden Girls thing. It's what a am I? Thing. Am I fucking Blanche? <laughs> Tell oh, me no. I'm fucking Blanche. No, you said you said in one of like episode whatever that you're not a slut, so you can't be. Oh yeah, and I'm am Dorothy I? because I'm I'm tall. <laughs> so <you're> tall. <laughs> who am I? I don't know. I don't know. You're very wise. Stop it. So well, doesn't you're it probably you? Ma. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she thought the quiz Anyways, was Golden Girls. I thought the quiz was Golden Girls. No. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I thought, like, oh. how you answered decided what Golden Girl you were. <laughs> Edit that. No way. That was great. <laughs> this was just going live tonight. That's I was like, it. oh, okay, oh, you're Rose. It. I bet I'm Blanche. I'm always fucking Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> you played a good one. You, uh, the one Halloween, you played Blanche, and everyone thought you were Roseanne Rose Barr. Roseanne. <laughs> And I was like, yep, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Pancakes or waffles? Oh. Pancakes. 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 Oh, gosh, another tough one for me. You say pancakes, Julia? Tell I me don't know. It's ever, a tough one for like, me. Like, waffles are good. Like, when you're in the mood, like, ooh, I want a waffle. But, at, like, you cannot mess up pancakes. They're yeah. always delicious. Pancakes are good. Like, you ever get a crusty waffle? Like, yeah. it's disgusting. Dried out, old. Yeah, 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 yeah you gross. definitely. Nah, I don't know. I yeah. like both. All right, I got to pick one, though, huh? You know what? I'm going to go with waffles. Okay. I'm going with waffles because you can put strawberries on them. You can do that you on can pancakes, blue- too. I- yeah, but they get kind of soggy. Oh, the crusty good. waffles will soften for you <laughs> oh, when you put blueberries and strawberries and syrup on it, right? Yeah. You hear me? You yeah. hear me? Yeah. All right. Coffee crust. or tea? Coffee. 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 As we know. Hey, speaking coffee. of, buy me a coffee. Ooh. Yeah. Buy me a coffee. You have to go on our website. Yeah. And if you want to treat us for a cup of coffee for entertaining you for yeah. 20 however many weeks because we can't keep it straight. 20 something. Look for the icon or look for the little thing that says buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee. All right. Anyways. Heck yeah. Coffee. My favorite. Coffee. coffee. She's Everybody my coffee buddy in the coffee. morning. Yeah. Movies. Or TV series? Movies. Ooh. Movies? Yeah. One movie? T- TV series TV over series. here? I get way too involved. All right, so we're two and two. We got two <laughs> movies and two TV series. So what's your favorite TV series? Currently? Yeah. Sure, ever. Ever? It would have to be as stupid as this is going to sound, The Vampire Diaries. Okay. Only because I've met pretty much the entire well, I cast. Tried, I can't judge. I I've never seen any of them. I started watching that. Okay. But see, that's my problem. I pick movies because I fall out of TV yes, series. Yes, same. Me too. See, I'm my like, thing, I like the, to see the beginning and end. I'm and a reader, likely, like yeah. a big time reader. I like reading. So like I do a yeah. lot, like 
like Jenny has the bad habit too. Like we read the books before the series and the movies Absolutely. ever come that out. Absolutely, that was our rule when you guys That's were little. Good, remember? Yeah. I'm looking yeah. at Julia right now. We, if they wanted to go see a movie and there was a book out, they had yeah. to read the book yeah. first, or but at least we would look at the pictures. But then <laughs> sometimes I hate myself for that because, like Twilight, best example. I oh. loved the Twilight series books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love them. And then I watched the movies and I was like, this is horse shit. Uh, I didn't like, mind them. I liked them. They were obviously I've watched them like 18,000 times so I love them too but it's still just the fact like that first time you ever watched them yeah it was like that's not I think we went to every single opening yeah for Twilight yes I did too not healthy what's your favorite (laughs) movie uh Silence of the Lambs oh it's such a good one (laughs) it's such a good such a good one you know why I like that because it was so close to the book yeah, yeah, like they yeah, cut yeah, out yeah. very little detail yeah. from the book to the movie. Yes, very yeah. good. And Let's, I read the book before I watched it. Yeah. What's your favorite TV series over there? Shameless. Shameless. Shameless is good. That's a rabbit See, hole. See, I yeah. haven't seen it. I haven't it's seen so it. It's so good. It's really hard. Like the first season, like I'd say the first few episodes, it's so hard to yeah. get into it because it's like you could tell it was a new series, yeah. new acting. They yeah. didn't know what the hell heck they were doing, you know? Yeah. But now what it's about like, you? they're my life. I, you know what? I have a favorite movie. I have beautiful girls, but there's one oh, other yeah. movie that's in German. And for the life of me, I cannot oh, think of, of it right now. So oh. I'm going to, I'm going to think about it. It's on it TikTok. It's, it's on TikTok. Everything it's a German. It's in it's it's German. Ha- yeah. It's, I love it. And I've talked about it before. Is it, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. I, I'll Dark haired lady. There is a dark haired lady in it. And it's about, an officer that has to live up in the attic to watch a couple yes. because they think he I knows. I just saw that on yes. TikTok too. The, oh, you know what it's called? The Lives of Others. Yes. The Lives of Others. I love that movie. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why. Okay, like, I saw it on I, TikTok But I've told everyone about it. They have the 100 best IMDb movies yeah. on yeah. a poster and you scratch it. So I'm not it, the only one them. that. And that was the one she just watched the other it day. It is. Did she like it? She loved it. I yeah. love that movie. She loved it. She said it's probably not for everybody. It's but not she for everybody. Loved it. Yeah. But I, I did. Oh, I really so liked crazy. it. And you have to be. Like, I tried to watch it while I was on the treadmill yeah. no. years and years ago, yeah. and I couldn't because I had to read right. what they were saying. Right. But it is. I've, I've seen it, I don't know, 20 times. Yeah. Maybe that's even crazy. more. Yep. I really like it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Car or truck? Car. Truck. I mine's a car. What is yours? Car. Car. What is yours? Car. So we got I three mean, cars, like one crossover. truck. Over. It's an SUV. Can she's, I got, do, she's got country in her why over can't here. I she do likes SUV? trucks. You could do SUV. Because I want something bigger than a car, but I don't want a truck. I, yeah, true. My you know thing I mean? is, is like I love like when I drive a race truck. Oh gosh, I love it. But the thing is, is that I love the fact that put me in a truck and I can drive it. I can park it. All right, train or bus? Train. 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 Yeah. Four. Four for train. Yeah. All right. Book or movie? Book. Book. <laughs> I don't have time for books. <laughs> yeah, she is. You are. She, how yeah. many pages is that? It. N- no, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's, it's like 3,000. Thir- yeah. yeah. Well, it's like 1,300 pages, the one that she got, and it's the Stephen King It. She's like, I'm going to read this summer. She bought the biggest book ever. It's a good one, though. It's a good one. So I pick movie. So summer or winter? Summer. Winter. Summer, 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 oh, winter. Yeah. So winter. we got three, three to one. I you don't like, like being hot. Yeah. And I don't like being cold. I yeah. hate it. I hate it. Spring or fall? Fall. S- fall. <laughs> I like both. Those are both. Sh- fall. That's a hard so, one. So like you made me pick winter or summer and it's like I hate both, both of those of them. equally. <laughs> fall is. If you were like spring or summer or fall or winter, it would have been spring and fall. All right. I'll adjust this yeah. next time for yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fall Spring is just fall. crisp air, candles I love burning, fall. blankets. It's pumpkin spice season. Yeah. Yes, which Scary is probably going to be coming out soon yeah, because that's how they do it. it. Are you all excited for it? it. Yeah. yeah. I fucking love Halloween movies. <laughs> <laughs> they have Christmas in July right now on like the I Hallmark saw Channel. That and I mm-hmm. thought of you immediately. Absolutely watching them. Well, not really. <laughs> They're in the background all the time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mayo or mustard? Mustard. Mustard. Mayo. All right. Three to one. Yeah. Three to one. I don't I'm know, Mayo. Outcast. <laughs> That's how we get along so I well. I know. Uh, glasses or contacts? Contacts. Neither. We got a contacts over here. Neither. I I'm neither. Both. Yeah, and you got both. Yeah. All right, so that's a weird one. Neither. I probably would go. But with I do think glasses. a lot of people say that I look like when I don't have my glasses on. They're like, what weird. the frick? Yeah, because we're so used, used to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then it's like it's I like people that I've known my whole and like in in my current job. Some of my leads that they've known me for three years and I yeah. come in with contacts and they're like, 
What? Have your eyes always been that blue? So uh, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You're like, like, they're not even transitioning. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And are you hitting on me? I'm because pretty, I could call HR yeah. right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my glasses are see-through. Like, did you not see my eyes? Okay. Maybe you always have a glare on them. All yeah. right. Morning person or night owl? I'm all the above. Yeah, me too. It mm. depends. Is it weekend mm-hmm. or work? Yeah, right, right. I think it's You're so morning. funny though, Cass, because like in mornings, if we like work together, the whole car ride, we just bitch. Bitch about how tired we are. Do we have to do this? And I, I try to convince her all the time. I'm like, we should just quit for like 24 hours. She's like, well, that's not quitting. I was like, yeah, I know. But like in our heads, it would be quitting yeah. in 24 hours. Yeah. I try so hard and it just never no, works. No. So last night I was stressed. So I was a night owl and didn't go to sleep till about 3 a.m. But usually I'm a morning person. You like I can get up. At 3 I, yeah, I was stressing last night. But today's fine. It's totally fine. And I'll, I'll fall asleep good tonight. So it just. She just drank a lot of coffee. Today. You know what? It, you know what? It, I did drink a lot oh of coffee God. today. And I slept 16 hours Sunday into oh, Monday. You did. So you did. then I had a little bit of a stressful Monday and then I didn't yeah. sleep. But I kind of already had the sleep. So I don't feel bad today. I bet it'll hit me tomorrow. Oh, it'll yeah. hit you know you how tomorrow. you do that. Oh, yeah. So hopefully I'll go to bed early tonight, but whatever. Text or call? Text. 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 I like both. Text. I like both. I call you every once in every a while. Once okay. Actually, I call you guys. You, yeah. Okay, call and text. But yeah. other one, like, why Why are you calling me? Like, My mom dropped off my birthday present today. I didn't even call her. I was just like, <laughs> hey, thanks hey. for the birthday present. I love you. Yep. Yeah, I sent my aunt flowers for her birthday. I was a couple days late. Oops. I Well, I thought about it, and then it was like, oh, we can't deliver on the weekend. I'm like, oh, oh. crap. So we had to wait till Monday. But luckily, she wasn't leaving until today yeah. for vacation. Um, and she texted a picture of them. So that <laughs> makes sense to me because I want to see what they look like. Yeah. And, you know, but. Yeah. So Marvel or DC Comics? I don't know Marvel. the difference. Marvel. Marvel. What? So who, on the Marvel group team, what do you? Who do you like on that? Spite. You're a Spider Man fan. So Marvel, Spider Man, and all of them on that side. DC is Batman. I'm Batman. That's the whole reason why I'm. That's DC. hard for me to pick. Is it? Because I like the Hulk. I like Batman. Because Batman. Do you was like, like a, a man thing. in black tights or blue and red tights? <laughs> blue and red. Probably black. <laughs> So you're DC like me, okay. and you're Marvel. Okay. <laughs> Black tights. <laughs> beach or mountains? Beach. 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 Me beach. too. Me We're too. All well, beach. although I don't know. I want to hike. I'm kind of a hiker. I, I like just want to lay around. Your sister and I are just talking about what we're doing this year in the mountains. So I kind of like I both. I just want to lay around and be hot. I just like to see the bears, <laughs> but I the do like the beach too. Creepy. So I love huh. the beach. Online shopping or inline shopping, <laughs> in store shopping, in store. That's in-store. really that's a hard decision now. I love online, COVID. yeah, but I mm-hmm. love like the mental touching. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, Julia says I can't in store. Clothes. I can't buy clothes online. Yeah, but anything else I could pretty much do online. Yeah, anything yeah. besides clothes. So I'm online, I guess. So I've done some online shopping the past. I don't know, maybe this year. Let's just say this yeah. year. Every single shirt, every single pair of pants, every shorts, they've gone to Julia. <laughs> every time, right? Every time. You have to read the um, reviews. No, the reviews are like, yeah, fits perfectly. And no, it don't. It's no, true it to don't. size. And you're like, okay. Do you I remember that one medium. shirt I got? I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. It had like the Japanese blossoms on it. It was the light blue thing. That thing was supposed to be like a, a V-neck something. It wraps around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is supposed to show cleavage and it's not even showing my double chin. What's going on here? <laughs> It's I'm the a total, worst I'm shirt. a total V-neck it's person, the worst too. Shirt I can't ever. have it over. I'm like, Ugh. And I can't even, like, I mean, it was $7. I'm like, I'll just go <laughs> donate it. I'm not even going to go, you know, take it back. Jeez. It was crazy. That's so so I'm done. I like to in-store shop. Oh, that's so funny. A uh, fan or air conditioning? Both. Yeah. Me and Johnny have three fans you and like air freeze. conditioning. <laughs> I hate artificial air. Do you? Yeah. But uh, since being with Ray, I cannot sleep without our fan on. But it the cannot, noise. the the air it's cannot the like noise. touch me. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, I just need yeah. the noise. Do you need the, Do you have the air conditioning on or like open windows? Oh then? no, air's on. Air's on to stay cool. Julia says air conditioning over yeah. here too. Um, you know I like all the windows open, but yeah. not on these humid days. Yeah. I have to have the air right. conditioner to cut it. Right. If it's nice out, if it's spring and fall, oh yeah, my yeah. windows are open. Oh yeah. Yeah. I talked with someone in Tennessee today. I did not know this, but only about 20% of people that live in Tennessee have air conditioning. 
they Are just you kidding. Yeah, me? that's what she's told. That's what she told me. Now I don't know if that's true or not. I know we have some people that listen from Tennessee. Give me a text and let me know. But I heard that twenty percent only. Because it's too expensive Especially and you're out if you, you have all this property out there. You just well, open the windows. As yeah. long as you have a lot of trees. Yeah, right, 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 you know, right, right. I think that's something that we deal with in Illinois is we build on property. We rip everything down and then we build. And then we're like, oh, we'll plant a couple trees here. Yeah. Where it's like in Tennessee, they like build within the trees because they know better. Yeah. It's yeah. going to protect your house from a storm. Yeah, branch might fall on it, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it also keeps your house cool. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. very true. Like, yeah. I know Steve hates the trees around here, but really, they're keeping a lot of things yeah. cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we have the birds and, you know, they, they crap all over our cars. <laughs> whatever. But whatever. Cares? Keep the car wash business Right. Going. All right. Well, that was fun. Cool. That was good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that was fun. So what fun. did we find out about it? We didn't find out anything. We just found out what we all liked. And then everyone else is, they're going to play along with us. I really thought you were going to tell us something about ourselves. You won. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she hates my games. <laughs> so we are on the podcast awards. Yes. Oh, yes. Go so vote. I'm, yeah. You may Heck have already yeah. seen it online, but we're please vote for us. I'm like I said before, we're probably not going to win because it's women hosted right. podcasts that we chose. There's a lot of great lot podcasts of ones, out yeah. there, but it was the only one that we really were, yeah. were in, yeah. you know, we're not, we're more than comedy. There wasn't a retail one yeah. because we're unique. Right. There's not. Right. I, people keep telling me there's really no other podcast no. like ours. Yeah. Because um, a lot of them are retail and how to get better at retail yeah. or oh. the, the up, up and coming and like that where we're just talking about our stories. Yeah. So, yeah, but there wasn't anything there. Nobody actually wants to be good at retail. <laughs> I mean, but we are pretty good and that's why we're here. So, (laughs) but anyway, so thanks everybody for listening. Please go vote. We'll put the link out there. We appreciate you. Go buy us a coffee. It's on our website. It would be awesome. We need coffee. Support us. We need coffee. (laughs) And thanks for joining us. You are very welcome. That was fun. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Bye. 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 This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.